believe this bar is 70% dark chocolate, 70% cocoa. Is that it? My whispering's better, my technique's better, and my tapping's better. I should be getting a lot more views. Hi, my name is Satara, and this is an audio of me farting. Are people making like ASMRs of this? I feel like that's definitely not good. My whispering's better, my technique's better, and my tapping's better. What the hell just happened? Over the years, YouTube has become more than just a place to watch videos. You can find almost anything in the audio space from podcasts to AI Batman talking to you and even the ever popular lo-fi hip hop girl live stream to help you study. But there's one community in particular that brings the listening experience to a whole new level, ASMR. ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. It's a tingly feeling that some people get from certain sounds like soft whispering. ASMR rose in popularity pretty quickly and in 2021, it was the third most searched term in the US on YouTube behind Minecraft. But ASMR communities aren't all innocent. There's a dark side to it and also a weird side. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a very wonderful week ahead. All right, let's get into it. Fart ASMR. People have already been experiencing ASMR long before the term was created. There was no real name for it, but people related to the same tingly feelings from watching content that featured these soft sounds. It was only in 2010 did the sensation get the name ASMR. ASMR was coined by a cybersecurity expert named Jennifer Allen who started taking notice of the tingly feeling from soft sounds. Looking online, she realized that a lot of people experienced the same feeling. So she came up with a term that laid the foundation of the ASMR community. Jennifer created a website and the first ASMR Facebook group to bring people like her together. At first, this community seemed innocent, but as time went on, the community began to branch off into weirder categories. When I say weird, we're talking about downright bizarre. There are people out there willing to spend money on ASMR sounds, but not just any sounds. We're talking about farting. And this is how fart ASMR became its own genre. On YouTube, this kind of ASMR isn't popular, but outside the platform, it's a different story altogether. In 2021, Twitch streamers Amaranth and Indie Fox took over the front page by making this kind of ASMR. Indie Fox even used the sound to reward her chat if she reached a certain number of subs in each stream. There were a lot of people who felt this content was disgusting. Twitch was criticized for allowing this kind of trend to go viral, and before long, Amaranth and Indie Fox paid the price. Amaranth and Indie Fox, both of which banned. Amaranth's ban was quickly reversed, but Indie Fox didn't make a comeback on Twitch until two years after the incident. Although this genre of ASMR has lost its popularity since its peak in mid-2021, there are still videos on YouTube that feature it. Over a decade, ASMR has evolved on YouTube, which includes more inappropriate content. So YouTube's rules had to be adjusted. But here's the thing. YouTube isn't just cracking down on inappropriate content. Innocent creators are being punished too. Unfair demonetization. JoJo's ASMR is a big ASMR YouTuber with almost 3 million subscribers. As someone who's been doing ASMR for years, he often shares his opinion on the evolving trends happening in the ASMR community. Recently, JoJo uploaded a video talking about another ASMR YouTuber on his second channel. But after uploading the video, JoJo ran into some problems. So I tried uploading this video yesterday. It got age restricted, demonetized, the video was removed, and I got a warning with my next morning being a community guideline strike. This was uncalled for. Why are you taking me out for just showing the stuff that is monetized on your platform? So why did JoJo's video get him a warning from YouTube? In the video, JoJo talked about a content creator known as Luna Rex ASMR. My name is Luna and I create ASMR videos to help people relax, sleep, and spread positivity. My ASMR is in caps, not meant for even though this was written on Luna Rex's about section, her videos tell a different story. Luna Rex's style of content is known as ASMR Autica, which is a more sensual kind of ASMR. As Jojo pointed out, her video titles and thumbnails look inappropriate. Jojo then explains that because he showed and talked about Luna Rex's channel, it caused his video to be age restricted, even though her videos are still monetized. Luna Rex responded back and said that it was not her fault that YouTube demonetized him instead of her. She also addressed some of the points 
quotes that JoJo brought up. I'm not gonna lie, I do clickbait a lot of my thumbnails. I'm just saying that I'm gonna create whatever content I want to make, and you don't gatekeep the ASMR community, nobody does. And on September 7th, 2022, YouTube updated its policy to be more restrictive to inappropriate ASMR content. But this incident between JoJo and Luna Rex shows that YouTube doesn't seem to be properly enforcing their policy. I've heard horror stories and nightmares from my colleagues and peers in the ASMR space who produce totally safe for work ASMR content, but they're just slapped constantly with demonetization. If you search ASMR on YouTube, you'll see a lot of inappropriate ASMR videos, but these videos aren't age restricted, even though their titles clearly show that they're inappropriate. And the ASMR creators who are not involved in this type of content are the ones being punished for it. So what do other ASMR content creators look like? Whispering and tapping into the mic isn't the only type of ASMR around. It's time to introduce the bad apple within the ASMR genre that involves role playing the creator who lost his way. People use ASMR to relax and relieve the stress of life. I personally don't listen to ASMR, but to many, it can provide temporary relief. However, it isn't a permanent solution to your problems. I used to be caught in the cycle of late nights, scrolling endlessly on Instagram and constant procrastination. And I wondered, why was I unhappy? Well, the truth, no one was to blame but me. So I stepped out of my comfort zone and built better habits, and I never felt better. I know you can do it too, and here's a tool that can help. Greatness app. Greatness is a lifestyle coach in your pocket that helps you build healthy habits to improve your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Created by world-renowned behavioral scientists, Greatness breaks down big lifestyle changes into small, easy steps. Greatness offers expert courses on everything from exercise to productivity to relationships. And my favorite part, of course, the habit tracker. To get Greatness, go to greatnessapp.org slash visualventure, or click my link in the description to get 72% off the 12-month Greatness plan. The first 100 people to use my code VENTURE10 will get an extra 10% off. Again, guys, it's not about temporary fixes. It's about creating habits that will last a lifetime. Thank you to Greatness for sponsoring this video. ASMR has come a long way from just being videos of someone tapping on a microphone. Nowadays, many creators take on different characters and whisper into the microphone right into the listener's ear. This type of content is called ASMR roleplay. There are two distinct styles of ASMR roleplay. The first involves videos where the creators impersonate different characters while interacting with the viewer visually. In contrast, the second style is audio only. These usually feature an anime character image displayed throughout the video while you listen to the ASMR artist's voice. These anime roleplays put the listener in romantic scenarios. One YouTuber who does ASMR roleplays is Akira Dubs. Akira Dubs' videos are mostly him voicing popular anime characters. Akira Dubs was able to grow his channel to over 200,000 subscribers. While his latest videos have comments that are mostly positive, this wasn't always the case. From late January to February 2021, a lot of Akira Dubs videos have comments disabled. If you view his channel more closely, you'll notice that there aren't any videos uploaded between March to November 2021. So what happened? His Discord server posted an announcement saying that Akira Dubs was hospitalized in December 2020 for substance use. During this time, he was also allegedly exposing himself inappropriately on a YouTube live stream. For obvious reasons, we can't go into detail, but it was a serious situation that Akira couldn't recover from. But how much of these accusations are true? It wasn't until another anime ASMR YouTuber, Morphe VA, decided to dig deeper into what was going on with Akira dubs. And that's when he made a shocking discovery. In January 27, 2021, Morphe VA posted evidence of Akira Dubs' horrible behavior. And it was worse than what the Discord announcement revealed. Not only was he cheating on multiple women, but he was also trying to convince them to break up with their boyfriends. And this was just the tip of the iceberg in the long Twitter thread by Morphe VA. What Akira Dubs did was wrong, but a lot of people in the anime ASMR community still sympathized with him until he put out his response to the situation that turned everyone against him. Akira Dubs posted a few videos to address the issue, but instead of owning up to his actions, he accused his critics of lying. It's okay. It's okay. I'm used to it. I'm used to dealing with you liars. 
I've dealt with you guys in past lives. In addition to Akira Dub's videos denying all accusations, his odd behavior in his later videos left his fans confused. Akira Dub stated that he was a reincarnation of William Shakespeare and Walt Disney. He was behaving strangely, saying things like this is spiritual warfare. This wasn't just a response to the accusations anymore. Akira Dubs believed that he was involved in a fight between good and evil. I've had enough of your tricks, devil. But don't worry, I like playing games too. This isn't about anything. This is about these demons trying to stay on my planet, on our planet. It's unclear whether Akira Dubs' strange behavior was intentional, but regardless, it didn't excuse his behavior. After all the drama in early 2021, Akira Dubs started posting videos again in 2022. His fans seem happy he's back, and it looks like most people have moved on and forgotten about the past issues. Akira Dubs' controversy is completely blown over and is still posting content as usual with about 500 members on his Patreon. While some ASMR creators like Akira Dubs were rightfully called out, this next creator couldn't handle the toxicity of the ASMR community and wanted to just disappear. The disappearance of ASMR Arad. Let's travel back in time to the early 2010s. ASMR was pretty new then and didn't have all the different types we see today. YouTubers were still trying to figure out what sounds actually work for people. One of the earliest creators was known as ASMR RF. YouTubers didn't have fancy studio setups or ASMR microphones back then. ASMR RF was making her sound experiments right from her bedroom. For a lot of people on YouTube, ASMR RF was their first exposure to ASMR. Over time, ASMR RF was able to build a following, but around 2013, ASMR Arette stopped posting. It wasn't long until she deleted her channel from YouTube. No one knew what happened and her fans started to worry, especially since her last video had a moment that left people feeling uneasy. ASMR Arette's last video wasn't even related to ASMR. It was a simple montage of her sitting in front of the camera titled Stuff ASMRists Think. In it, she reads a comment that most likely came from her comment section. Give me your number so I can. A lot of the comments she read were very inappropriate. While she doesn't explain why she disappeared, a lot of people believe it was because of those comments. But now that she's gone, you can find a lot of comments and re-uploads of her videos saying how much they missed her. Some re-uploads of her videos even have hundreds of thousands of views. The video where she reads the comments highlighted the unhealthy one-sided relationships known as parasocial relationships that some fans form with ASMR creators. These relationships can be especially problematic in the ASMR community. What makes it different with ASMR content is that since it's built on simulating intimacy, you now not only get the usual parasocial relationship experience with a creator, but also this added notion of feeling like you've shared intimate moments with a person. We may not know what became of ASMR Arette, but at least she doesn't have to deal with unhealthy fans anymore. But as we'll explore in our next chapter, sometimes the danger comes not from obsessive fans, but from those closest to us. In this case, a friend that drove him to do the unthinkable. Jisoo's final video. It's always a hard pill to swallow when your favorite YouTuber quits the platform. But for fans of one particular ASMR channel, they'd be getting an announcement that's a lot worse. In April 2021, Jisoo Sentiment, a Korean ASMR YouTuber, would upload a video with the title, Final Video, and fans were stunned. In the video, he talked about how hard it is to make his style of content. Jisoo uses a lot of luxury beauty products in his ASMR videos, which made his production cost up to thousands of dollars. About five dollars coming at the bus. But what really worried his audience was some of the disturbing messages he left in the video. He would say in his video that he still doesn't know when his last days will come. While this news was sudden, there were hints that might have led Jisoo up to the point of posting that final video. Two months earlier in February, a video titled Help was released. In the video, Jisoo provided financial assistance to a friend who was gay. But over time, this friend started to demand more money, which Jisoo refused. Feeling betrayed, the friend then made up a story that Jisoo paid him for intimate favors. Knowing the culture of Korea and the impact these allegations could have, Jisoo knew this would ruin his reputation. But to Jisoo's friend, this wasn't enough. Jisoo was later threatened with legal action as his friend tried to extort more money from him by hiring a lawyer for blackmailing purposes. Eventually, Jisoo was too tired dealing with the legal issues. I'm not safe. I'm not okay. 
the channel is at the brink of being shut down again. I need your help. Fans were shocked by Jisoo's story, and a GoFundMe campaign for Jisoo was started, and the hashtag Save Jisoo spread across social media. The GoFundMe raised almost $70,000, but even with all that support, Jisoo's mental health did not improve. When he uploaded the final video two months later, Jisoo would also make a community post uploading a photo of an empty cup with the caption, you did a great job in this life. Fans feared the worst when they saw this post. In the comments, they pleaded with Jisoo, but Jisoo later updated his pinned comment in the final video saying that he was going to contact GoFundMe to refund all his supporters. Fortunately, this story has a happy ending. He's still creating ASMR videos till this day and even changed the name of his channel to You Did a Great Job Today. And he now has over 800,000 subscribers. While the outpouring of support for a creator in a distressing situation seemed positive at first, one crucial detail appeared to be overlooked. Where was the evidence to support Jisoo's claims? When the GoFundMe campaign was uploaded, some viewers uploaded videos who tried to show that Jisoo might be scamming his community. As far as we know, no concrete evidence ever supported the original story. Even though these skeptical videos have now been deleted, there are still screenshots showing Jisoo threatening those who had posted them. We can't be certain whether Jisoo's story is true or not, but in the end, he's still safe. Unlike the stars of our next chapter, the dark side of pet ASMR. This is Maya Polar Bear, a YouTube channel with 2.8 million subscribers. Maya has all kinds of videos documenting her life with some ASMR videos here and there. But it was a specific ASMR video in September 2018 where Maya is seen eating a watermelon that ignited a whole new trend, pet eating broadcasts. Just like mukbang videos of people eating food, the trend of animals eating blew up all over China. And this trend made an impact on the entire country. In 2020, the Chinese Communist Party started to restrict mukbang videos. As part of the country's new anti-food wastage law, it's illegal to share videos of people binge eating large amounts of food. A lot of Chinese content creators have been accused of throwing up in order to finish their impossibly sized meals. So while the anti-food wastage law didn't ban mukbang outright, it targeted videos of people eating too much. So when Chinese creators could no longer make these videos, they turned to their pets. Pet owners started to overfeed their pets to make viral pet eating broadcasts. A lot of pets were eating way too much. Some pet owners owners go to extremes in feeding their pets to the point where the animal seems overwhelmed. Chinese news outlets speculate that one motive behind these creators encouraging their pets to overeat could be to attract sponsorships from pet food brands. The pet market in China is estimated to be worth over 200 billion yuan in 2020, which is about 27 billion US dollars today. Chinese creators are going to the extreme to make their pet eating broadcast stand out from one another. In these instances, dogs were eating chili peppers. <laughs> what started out as a cute trend of filming pet ASMR videos has turned into an unhealthy obsession for views. And on the topic of food ASMR, this next YouTuber took it to disturbing levels. The unethical behavior of So Young. Among the most popular ASMR YouTubers, mukbang ASMR channels are dominating. In fact, four out of the top five ASMR channels on YouTube focus on mukbang. In the fifth position is So Young, a mukbang YouTuber with a subscriber count of over 10 million. While a lot of mukbang creators focus on eating large quantities of food, as we've seen in our previous chapter, So Young brings a unique twist. What makes her content stand out is that she also prepares her meals in the same videos before eating them. But it's the way she prepares her meals that's gotten her in a lot of controversy. In many of her videos, she features animals in visible distress, flailing and squirming instead of preparing them humanely. These segments can last for several minutes before she moves into the ASMR parts. Some viewers defend So Young, saying that her way of eating is part of Korean culture, but a lot of people pointed out that this isn't true. I swear, what, what she does, it, do, it, it does not deserve to be associated with any kind of culture at all. She's even eaten turtles, something that many Koreans consider taboo. You can see from this video, so this turtle's still alive, 
and it's Charlotte's Broken. Moist Critical was one of the first big YouTube channels to call out So Young for her content. He went on to even request that YouTube take So Young off of the platform. YouTube ended up responding to the situation, stating that So Young's content did not violate any guidelines. So Young ended up responding to her critics. In her deleted dancing live squid video, she admitted that she was behaving carelessly when she prepared seafood. Since then, she's also taken down the videos of her food struggling before they're eaten. Nowadays, her videos skip the food preparation part and go directly to the ASMR mukbang segment. Despite these changes, a lot of people are still upset that YouTube didn't take any action against So Young. But in her next chapter, you'll see that there are ASMR videos so graphic that it's a major concern why they're still up on YouTube. In her next chapter, we'll discuss other ASMR videos that are even more graphic, which raises the big question, why are they still allowed on the platform? The ASMR videos no one talks about. According to Google's Consumer Insights, as of 2016, there were already about 5.2 million ASMR videos on YouTube. While we've already covered some of the controversies involving the biggest ASMR channels, it's still gonna get worse. While researching, the Visual Venture team stumbled across an unsettling rabbit hole of ASMR content, some of which the algorithm recommended to us. An ASMR video we came across was of a woman taking ticks out of her armpit. And this video has over 5 million views. I won't go into detail, but the video is graphic. The channel Rainbow ASMR has almost 200,000 subscribers. 20 of their videos have at least a million views. And every single video on the channel follows this unsettling pattern. And out of all ASMR genres and categories, why isn't anyone talking about this? Our research took an even darker turn when we searched for ASMR animation on YouTube. The majority of the results were similarly shocking animations, all featuring the same art style. And this wasn't only one channel. We found 14 14 different channels posting this type of content. There's more than a thousand of these ASMR animation videos combined on YouTube. These videos have completely taken over the YouTube algorithm, making it almost impossible to find other kinds of ASMR animations. Because of this, we couldn't find any ASMR creators addressing these types of videos. The only place we could find people talking about these videos is the ASMR subreddit. From what we found, it looks like these ASMR animations began to flood YouTube near the end of 2022. These videos seem to follow the same cookie cutter style. Not only are their animations the same, but so are their storylines. Each video typically starts with someone accidentally getting injured, which then leads to some sort of infection. And by the end of the video, the person's skin ends up healthy again. It's as if all these channels are sourcing their content from the same animation studio. At first, we thought that these videos might have been categorized as educational because it didn't make sense that these videos with such graphic animations could stay up on YouTube. On YouTube, you have creators like Dr. Dr. Pimple Popper, whose content is about removing pimples, blackheads, and cysts from people in real life. But while Dr. Pimple Popper's content serves an educational purpose, the ASMR animations do not. YouTube guidelines state that medical procedure footage that provides no education is not allowed on the platform. And although these are animations and not real life, it's still very graphic. These animations are intended to shock viewers into clicking into their videos. Some of them even show popular characters in distressing situations to gain extra views. Why do these videos, which seem to violate YouTube's rules, get such high views? I guess it's a mystery we may never solve. ASMR began as a new way to find relaxation and pleasure. But as the community grew, some channels have lost sight of that mission. In our digital society filled with harmful content, I hope this video serves as a reminder to be aware of what your friends and family are watching online. The main goal of any community lies in the responsibility to keep each other safe because alone we're one drop, but together we're an ocean. Visual Venture. Wait, before you go, click this playlist to watch more deep dives into the dark corners of the internet because the algorithm is going to promote my channel more if you guys watch multiple videos. Please have an absolutely amazing week.